So, story time for you. Last Monday, I had three videos filmed. I had a makeup tutorial, I had my February favorites, and I had the Spotlight Smoky Eye video that I uploaded on Wednesday. And in the process of reviewing all of my footage, I realized that I accidentally deleted the entirety of my February favorites, all of the pictures that I took with the makeup that I had in my February favorites, along with the intro and the outro to both of those videos. So now that we are finally here, I'm going to share with you guys my February favorites. All of the things that I've been loving in the month of February, and might I add, a February favorites is up. This favorite situation is going strong. So in my last makeup tutorial, I wanted to know from you guys, I was like, well, do you guys want to see my favorites in a video and then me mention what things I didn't really like on my website and the majority of you said that you liked that idea so all of the dislikes of this month are also going to be in my blog post on malexandra.com. By any means, I am no sort of professional blogger or writer. English was probably my worst subject in high school but I just, I don't know, I've been really liking having my website with my channel um, in case I can't film for a week, I can always update a blog post. It's a lot easier to blog than it is to film videos in terms of time consumption. So I have a couple of random favorites. This actually is my favorite, I guess, drink concoction of the month. Um, it's lemonade with a bag of peach tranquility and youthberry cold steeped in it and it's actually the fruitiest thing ever. It's awesome. For those of you that don't know, I do work at Starbucks so whenever it comes to like weird concoctions, I'm the queen of them. I wanted to mention my hard drive. This one is a Seagate, I think it's a one terabyte one, which is more than enough storage for everything and anything that you can possibly think of. If you have a channel or you have lots of pictures and this, like an external hard drive is so ideal. My laptop is, I think, three years old. It still works as if it's brand new because all of my pictures and all of my final videos are on here. With that being said, if I lose this, I am fucked. If you are a YouTuber and you haven't invested in an external hard drive, you definitely should. Or if you just have a lot of work that you want to keep, if you're like a picture hoarder like I am, external hard drive will be your best friend. So now back on to beauty related favorites. I wanted to mention my Numi Silhouette Straightener. Um, Callie bought me this for Christmas. She always ends up buying me things that I would never buy myself. And the funny thing is, after she was like, now it's yours and your sister can't steal it from you. <laughs> I haven't been doing much with my hair at all. The most I'll do to it is I'll blow dry volumizer in it because if I don't blow dry volumizer in it, it's literally like flat to my head and that's just the end of it. And then it's just in a bun until I need to wash it again. I don't know. I don't know what this thing does. I'm convinced that it's just, it's blessed with beautiful things. I need to roll this back up. I didn't think of that. The next hair related product that I wanted to mention is the Biokeratin Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Um, I am a huge fan of the Batiste Deep Dark Brown Dry Shampoo, but I shit you not, like I cannot find it anywhere. Nail Polish Canada used to carry it, but they stopped carrying it and literally I cannot find it anywhere. It has a white cast, it's not anything that is meant for brunettes. And with this dry shampoo, I don't mind the whole white cast thing because what I do is I spray it all in my hair and then I flip my head over and then I work it in and it just it lets me go a couple of days more without washing my hair. So if you haven't tried out the Biokeratin line, I'm pretty sure they have a website. If I can find it, I'll leave it down below linked. Um, but I found mine at Winners, so you can probably find yours there too. Next thing I wanted to mention was my Purity Facial Cleanser, and I mentioned this in my, I think, collective haul. Recently, I switched over to just using this and nothing else, and usually I have to um, exfoliate my face with my Clarisonic at least once a week. I probably should exfoliate with my Clarisonic, but for some reason, I just feel like this takes all of the shit off my face. It's awesome, it is a little bit pricey, but if you don't mind spending the money, it's definitely worth it. 100% recommend. Next thing I wanted to mention was my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I bought mine off of Sephora.com. It's a Sephora.com exclusive. They don't sell it in the store, but I buy the 32 ounce bottle 
all the time like it takes me about probably three or four months to get through this um, I do spot clean my brushes regularly like I, I do not even I couldn't even tell you guys how dirty my brushes would be if I didn't spot clean them every day with this stuff it's just awesome. I believe a couple of other SFX companies have something that's similar. Um, so I kind of want to try that out, but for now, I love the Cinema Secrets one. It is awesome. If you haven't tried it out, you are seriously missing out. Go try it right now. It'll change your life forever. And it makes your brushes smell like vanilla, so. Who's winning? Who is winning? So now on to makeup. I have a couple of makeup products. To be honest with you, like I don't have all that much makeup for some reason this month. I don't know. But the first thing I wanted to mention in the makeup category were my Coco Lashes and Goddess. And they're the ones that I'm wearing right now. I don't know why this would have been useful at all. But I love the Coco Lashes. They're so affordable. I believe these ones are about $6 a pack for the quality that they are six dollars is such an amazing price um i actually put in a order with demure lashes about 15 percent off of them so i ended up paying i think it was 50 dollars for like 13 pairs of eyelashes which is absolutely insane might i add definitely want to get more i want to i want to wait until the queen bees are back in stock because Desi and Luster Lux talk about them all the time. If you haven't tried out Coco Lashes, definitely try them out. The next thing I wanted to mention was my Cover Effects Cream Concealer. Um, I don't remember if I've mentioned this on my channel before. I remember the first time I tried it out, I was like, holy Jesus Christ, full coverage. I do not need that much full coverage under my eyes. The smallest amount goes the, the biggest way. Like All I have to do is put just a pea-sized dot and it'll cover both of my under eyes and like on a good day I can still highlight the rest of my face with it um, but yes cover effects A plus it is a bit pricey for a concealer you get 10 mils in it so it's a lot of product in there next thing I wanted to mention was my Marcel face powder I did a first impression on this and I am still kind of on the fence whether it's a translucent setting powder or it's a colored face powder and the name is just translucent I don't know you get so much product in here like it's the size of my face definitely if you haven't tried out the Marcel face powder um, I will link it down below I don't know if people in the US can get it because I'm pretty sure Marcel is a Canadian company but I may be wrong if I'm wrong I will correct myself Next thing I wanted to mention was my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Espresso and I have raved about the tinted brow gels before because I can go with a very light coverage foundation routine and just brush this through my brows and it'll look like I tried. The fact that I can be lazy with my eyebrows too sometimes, it's just awesome. So if you haven't tried out the tinted brow gel from Anastasia, definitely recommend it. Do it and tell her I sent you. Next thing I wanted to mention was the Lip Land and Omrizi collaboration in Montenegro. And let me tell you the struggle that it was to get this product like you do not understand and she first released it it was sold out and it was sold out for like three months after At first I was like you know what it's probably just like the other berry tones and the other cherry tones that I have but it's so unique there's something so unique about this so comfortable like I wore this for a 10 hour shift the other day and it stayed on the entire time <laughs> But yes, I love it. If you guys want to see a tutorial with me using it, let me know. You already know. I have a couple of brushes that I want to mention. The first one I want to mention is the Odor Beauty F100 Flat Kabuki Fat? Round Kabuki Brush. I remember when Sigma came out with their Flat Top Kabuki Brush, Kabuki brushes were the shit. And if you had a Kabuki brush, you were awesome. Um, I bought this at my very first iMats from Outer Beauty, and they ended up having some like sale. I think it was like five bucks off, and I was like, oh my god, discount! So I bought it, and then yeah, I just haven't bought anything from them since. So I'm curious to know whether they have any other deals or any new brushes and all that kind of thing. The last brush I wanted to mention was my e.l.f. blush brush. This one's really dirty because I just use it to touch up my face. I believe this thing was like five bucks. I use it to set my under eye and I use it to highlight my cheekbone as well. It's big enough so that it covers enough area, but it's not so big that it's like highlighter on the face. The next thing I wanted to mention were a couple of the YouTubers that I discovered this past month. I came across Diana Saldana. Oh, what's her name? 
Diana Soldana, and she's like the cutest little Mexican, I don't know if she's Mexican or Cuban, Hispanic, I don't know. I was researching the Kylie lip kits and people's, I guess, opinions, and she mentioned a couple of the dupes that she found were closest to all the colors, and surprisingly enough, I have a few of the colors that she mentioned that were dupes. And I also have really been loving Gina Shkira, Shkira, aka Jin's makeup here on YouTube. She is so funny. The girl is hilarious. Like, she's probably one of the most entertaining people that I watch on YouTube. Genuine, very herself. If there's anything that I love more in watching YouTube videos is being able to, like, get a feel for who the person is actually as a person. I don't know. That's just me. But if you guys haven't checked up either of them, I will leave them both in the description box so you can check them out because they are awesome. Last thing I wanted to mention is my baby. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you know that I have bit the bullet and bought a Sony A5100. Like, I'm so... <laughs> You do not understand. So I finally made the investment and I bought this guy. It's like the perfect, it's the perfect selfie camera. Who are we kidding? This cost a pretty penny, I'm not gonna lie. It was definitely not one of the cheaper purchases, but I am so happy that I bought it. Bought it at Best Buy. I'd been looking every, like literally left, right, center, upside down for this camera for it at a decent price. And then I ended up buying it at a decent price from Best Buy. So I'm super happy with it. All of the makeup pictures that I've been taking with it have been super fun and high quality and all of that jazz. I'm curious to know though is like what settings other people have their camera at to take their better makeup self. I don't know. That's just me. That's something that I wonder. Anytime that somebody takes a picture with the Sony A5100 or you know exactly that it was taken with this type of camera and I just want that quality of makeup pictures in my Instagram and on my blog and of all of that kind of stuff so I'm just so happy about it and that guys is the end of my February favorites I really hope you like it as always all of the products that I mentioned in the video are going to be listed in the description box and on my blog malexandra.com all of the things that I did not like this month are also going to be in that blog post so make sure you check that out. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. Hey friends, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this Spotlight Smoky Eye. I use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, which has had lots of hype here on YouTube, but I have not used it yet. 